No doubt. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Wonderful to see you again. I've completed my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice, graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. You're a natural. Wingardium Leviosa. Handy resource indeed, your field guide be included. Do you think if we ask the I don't find potions there at all. to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty.
How are your assignments coming along? I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn Depulso. Let's see what you can do. Well done. I'm glad that you have been staunchly determined to master your spellcasting. How did you get on with those tasks? New spell here in my office before taking it out into the world. Glacius, there you go. Hit me quickly. Glacius. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here. You can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> you can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. It's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. 
Would you mind giving him some beast feed? What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way. The measles are over here. Oh, couple of measle whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jukes. <laughs> oh, stupid thing. Oh. What in Merlin's name are you doing? Oh, tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone! <laughs> Her name is Persephone! <laughs> That's really not funny. <sighs> Let's go. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. <laughs> the measles really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good! You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savagers in Rookwood's poacher pack. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer, stumbling over dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps. Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Psst! Psst! Over here! Did you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least, that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. You've intrigued me. Very well, lead the way. I'd hoped I would.
I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Well, thank you, I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. <sighs> Quite the weather we're having, don't you think? Poppy, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. Don't worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. Stand back. Just magnificent. Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. someone this quickly you can feed and brush her if you'd like I come and check on her every once in a while bring her pasties tell her what's going on in the castle you wouldn't know from looking at her but she's a dreadful busybody So, what did you think of Highwing? I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and Highwing cross paths? It's a longer story. But I rescued her from poachers a few years back, got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again, and that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that I fear she's right. The poacher's influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep Highwing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Oh, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Ironically, I didn't see ahead of time how bored I'd be in divination class. I hope those assignments were challenging enough for you. I've completed all of my tasks, Professor Onai. Very well done. Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. Now. As you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious. Based upon the knowledge that one's present and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come, what do you see in your own future? There will be hardship, I'm sure of it, but I see triumph in the end. A measured perception. Very wise. Nothing worthwhile is ever easy. And that is why such futures are worth striving for. But this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, then I for one see great things. Excellent. I think you have it. <laughs> At some point, you must stop preparing and put your newly honed Rebellion. skills outside of the castle. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. What are you up to now? I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Accio. Rebellion. Accio.
House of Hogsmeade might have been destroyed if not for you. Complete the tasks I've given you, and then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the severing charm. It's typically you. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. How would you like to learn the knockback jinx flipendo? Once you've completed the necessary tasks, come and find me in the greenhouse. Hey, you, Gryffindor. Imelda Rays? Albie Weeks sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that to the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Gryffindor. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Ah, oh, success! Excellent! This is rather fun! Whoa! <laughs> Whew. Made 
did it. Did anyone else see that? Ugh, that's not... You, you must have cheated, you... Ugh. Fine. You won. <sighs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Uh, you're not terrible. But you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. I don't want respect from the likes of you. All you do is insult people. You and everyone else need to get a thicker skin. Anyway, I'm moving on to the next course. It's near Irondale and offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Alby Weeks. I never thought someone would ever. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I feel. I believe you are ready to learn Arresto Momentum, the slowing charm. It allows you to freeze objects or people in midair. Simply complete a few tasks and then come and see me. empty. Muggles have it better. Just not having. 